The internet, a vast, untamed frontier. It's a place where you can buy anything from a gallon of milk to a flamethrower, all while wearing your pyjamas. But like any frontier, it has its share of dangers. Cybercrime, my friends, is the digital equivalent of getting jumped in a dark alley. It's happening more and more, and it's getting more sophisticated. We're talking about everything from identity theft to ransomware attacks, from phishing scams to data breaches. And the bad guys? They're getting craftier by the day. They're like digital pickpockets, except they're after your bank account, your identity, and maybe even your cat videos. OK, maybe not the cat videos, but you get the point. The problem is most of us don't even know how vulnerable we are. We walk around with our heads buried in our smartphones, blissfully unaware of the digital dangers lurking around every corner. We use the same password for everything, click on links from strangers and download files from shady websites. It's like leaving your front door wide open and inviting the neighborhood burglar in for tea and biscuits. Let's talk about the usual suspects in this digital saloon. Phishing scams are about as common as tumbleweeds in a western. They're those emails that look like they're from your bank. But they're really from some guy named Bob, who's sitting in his basement, wearing his underwear and trying to steal your login credentials. Then there's malware, the digital equivalent of a nasty case of the flu. It can infect your computer and turn it into a zombie, stealing your data and sending spam to all your contacts. And don't even get me started on ransomware. That's where the bad guys hold your data hostage and demand a king's ransom to get it back. It's enough to make you want to ditch your computer and go live in a cave. But wait, there's more. Emerging trends in cybercrime are like the new gunslingers in town. Crypto jacking, for example, is where hackers hijack your computer to mine cryptocurrency. It's like they're using your electricity to make themselves rich and you're left holding the bill. And then there's the Internet of Things, IoT. All those smart devices we love, like our refrigerators and our toasters, they're vulnerable to hacking too, which means someone could be spying on you through your toaster oven. Now that's just creepy. So, how do you protect yourself in this digital Wild West? First things first, passwords. Don't be like everyone else and use password 123 for everything. Get yourself a password manager and create strong, unique passwords for each of your accounts. It's like having a different key for every lock on your house. A pain in the neck, but worth it in the long run. Next up, software updates. I know, I know, they're annoying, but they're also essential for patching security holes. Think of it like fixing the leaky roof on your digital homestead. And speaking of security holes, be careful what you click on. If an email looks suspicious, it probably is. Don't be afraid to delete it. Better safe than sorry, right? Finally, consider using a VPN, especially when you're on public Wi-Fi. It's like putting on a digital mask. It hides your IP address and encrypts your data, making it much harder for the bad guys to snoop on you. Think of it as the digital equivalent of wearing a cowboy hat and a bandana. It keeps you anonymous and safe from prying eyes. So you've been hacked. Don't panic. It happens to the best of us. First things first, change your passwords. And I mean all of them. Next, report the incident to the appropriate authorities. If you've been the victim of identity theft, you'll want to contact the credit reporting agencies and put a freeze on your credit. If you've lost money, you might be able to get it back. Contact your bank or credit card company and report the fraud. And if you're feeling really ambitious, you can try to track down the hackers yourself. But be warned, this is not for the faint of heart. It's like trying to find a needle in a digital haystack. In most cases, the best thing you can do is learn from your mistakes and move on. Think of it as a learning experience, a painful, expensive learning experience, but a learning experience nonetheless. Cybercrime is a serious problem, but it's not insurmountable. By taking some basic precautions and staying vigilant, you can greatly reduce your risk of becoming a victim. Remember, the internet is a powerful tool, but like any tool, it can be used for good or evil. It's up to us to use it wisely and responsibly. Think of it this way. In the Wild West, people didn't just wander around with their pockets full of gold, inviting trouble. They took precautions, they carried weapons, they travelled in groups, and they kept their wits about them. 
The same goes for the digital world. Be smart, be safe, and don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it. The internet is a vast and ever-changing frontier, full of both opportunity and danger. By staying informed and taking precautions, we can navigate this digital landscape safely and responsibly, enjoying all the benefits it has to offer without falling victim to the dangers that lurk in the shadows. The internet is a bit like a digital amusement park. It's a place of wonder and excitement, but it can also be a dangerous place if you're not careful. So buckle up, keep your hands inside the ride at all times and enjoy the ride. But most importantly, stay vigilant, my friends. The digital world is a dangerous place.